Hey everybody, Spencer Campbell here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is how to use Zoom virtual backgrounds with a green screen. Uh, so let's get right to it. Uh, when we go to Zoom, we're going to, obviously we already have an account created. Um, if you don't have an account created, you can see some previous videos uh, on uh, the YouTube channel. So we're gonna do with video on. Um, it's going to ask us if we wanna open zoom.us. We're gonna click yes. It's going to connect to the meeting. A new screen will pop up. Um, and you can, if you want, test your speaker and your microphone. I heard the tone. Yes, I can hear the replay. Hopefully. Uh, so we're going to join with computer audio. And what you'll notice is I have a green screen behind me. Um, these are super cheap. You can order them online. You can use paint and paint a wall. Um, you can even do some lighter blues and different things like that. We have had this previously from our younger kids that used Legos and would do videos on green screen and, and different things like that. So obviously you want to sit in front of the green screen. You want to be in a place that's well lit. And um, what you're looking for is a virtual background. And there's a lot of different places that you can get them. There's actually websites where you can purchase them in packages and they have, they have offices, they have skylines, they have apartments, they have homes. Um, and I'll show you some of those digital downloads. You can also go to a place that has them for free. I'm all about free. I'm an educator. Um, so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to slide the screen over um, and share my screen with you so you can see where I'm going. So when I share the screen right here, what we are looking at um, when I share this is um, Pexel, right? So... Um, Right here is a website called pexels.com and they have thousands and thousands and thousands of backgrounds, right? So uh, actually 10,000. So um, when you click on photos, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see all of these photos here that are free. Um, some of them are paid, but they're also, there's attributes, right? So if you wanna attribute or attributes, if you wanna attribute somebody that took the picture, you can do that as well. So um, let's say that I, I like this one here. Um, I wanna click on it. Um, I want to, let's see, I'm going to move my little image here. It's a free download right here. I'm going to download that. And what you'll notice is it's going right down to my downloads over here, a black and white office space. So as I um, scroll back over here to my meeting, we're going to stop sharing there and then make this full screen is here in my actual, uh, video options on zoom down on the bottom where it says stop video right next to it. There's a little up carrot. We're going to click that and choose virtual background. Now what you'll see is you'll see an image of you. And these are all the other digital um, backgrounds that I've uploaded or downloaded or purchased or whatever. Um, and so what I want to do is I want to click right here where it says I have a green screen. Make sure that's clicked. Again, we're going to cancel that. So make sure it says I have a green screen. We're going to add here we're going to go to our desktop or our downloads here click on black and white business boardroom we're going to click on open and what you'll see now is you'll see both in the image that i see and the image that you see behind me that i have a virtual background so we're going to close that out so you could actually be sitting in your living room and you i mean you can see that it's pixelated you can see the edges right when i move fast enough the green screen isn't necessarily there but as far as, you know, on my hair where it's where I'm going bald, you can see that it's there. Um, so quick tutorial, you can find thousands of images on pixels. There is not a referral there. I do not make any money when you go there. You can also take uh, screenshots of other things that you have. You could take your own photos and upload those as well um, that you have on your computer. Again, if you found value in this tutorial and um, it's helped you learn something new, I would appreciate that you would like and subscribe.